Killer Instinct Gold History, Unleashing the Ultimate Beast. Welcome, gamers, to a thrilling journey into the history of one of the most iconic fighting games of all time, Killer Instinct Gold. I'm your host, Master of Masters, and today we're going to delve deep into the world of combos, ultras, and a cast of unforgettable characters that made this game a legend. So, grab your arcade sticks and let's get started. Killer Instinct Gold, released in 1996, was the sequel to the arcade hit, Killer Instinct. It was developed by Rare and released exclusively for the Nintendo 64. This marked the franchise's debut on a home console and opened up a whole new world of possibilities for Kai fans. The gameplay was the heart and soul of Killer Instinct Gold. The combo system was revolutionary, allowing players to string together incredible, unbroken combos that could leave opponents feeling helpless. The combo breaker system added a layer of strategy, keeping matches intense and competitive. Killer Instinct Gold featured an impressive roster of 15 characters, with both returning fighters from the original and some new additions. The fan-favorite characters like Jago, Orchid, and Saber Wolf returned, along with newcomers like Tusk and Kim Woo. Killer Instinct Gold introduced a compelling storyline, delving into the mysterious forces at play behind the Killer Instinct tournament. Ultratech, the malevolent corporation, was central to the plot, and each character had their unique motives for joining the battle. The graphics were a significant improvement from the arcade version, and the character models were detailed and expressive. The music, composed by Robin Beanland, added a layer of intensity to the game, with memorable tracks that are still loved by fans today. One of the standout features of Killer Instinct Gold was the ultimate combo system. When executed perfectly, an ultimate combo was an awe-inspiring spectacle that could take your opponent from full health to zero in a matter of seconds. It was both a testament to a player's skill and a crushing defeat for their opponent. Tournament were held worldwide, and the rivalry between players was intense. The game's balance and combo mechanics kept things exciting and it was a game where high-level play was truly a sight to behold. In conclusion, Killer Instinct Gold was more than just a fighting game. It was an experience. Its blend of engaging gameplay, memorable characters, and competitive spirit made it a classic that remains cherished by fans to this day. So, whether you're a seasoned Kai veteran or just getting into the game, remember to keep the combos going and never stop fighting. That's all for today's journey through the history of Killer Instinct Gold. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more gaming history content. And as always, leave your thoughts and memories about Killer Instinct Gold in the comments below. Until next time, keep gaming, stay combo breaking, and may your ultras be truly ultimate. Thanks for watching.